we are connected with the field. We are energetic beings, right? We are made of energy first, of consciousness. We vibrate. We are always vibrating. And whatever it is that we think of thoughts, a thought generates an emotion. That's why it's very important to be able to monitor, if we can, and that's what meditation will allow us to do. To monitor our thoughts is important because when we think a thought, or if we visualize something, we are generating already subconsciously an emotion. Emotion is energy in motion. When we do that, we are vibrating at a certain frequency, in a certain way, that is already emitting signals and vibration in the field around us. And because of the law of resonance, something of a light of the same frequencies is going to be coming in our space. We are going to attract something of the same light. Again, that's physics. If we had lots, well, if we had a guitar string this side of the room and another guitar string the other side of the room, and we strike one, and this starts vibrating. Now, the other one that could either be still, not moving, or already moving, but the one that is still or moving at a slower vibration, we start vibrating as fast as the fastest one, right? As well, if we have lots of pendulum clocks in this room, and we have them all to swing, we will notice that they start soon after to synchronize with the one that swings at a faster pace. Again, that's physics. And we are energy, we are vibration, we can feel it, you know. When we are depressed, when we are sad, when we are angry, we can feel it physically. We, we vibrate, we, we feel heavy, we vibrate in a certain way. And we cannot produce a happy thought, can we? Really, we cannot. It's impossible. Why is it? Because everything is connected thought, energy, vibration, and materialization, and the way things and people react around us, because they can feel it. When we are feeling happy, contented, excited, we feel light, we are generating another kind of vibration or emotion. You see? We have control over that. We have the power to do that. Always. Only 100% of the time. Easier said than done, sometimes. But the first thing that we have to be able to do is to recognize that yes, Yes, it is, or at least say that if it seems too far off. Yes, it may be true. And I can assure you that you will have the opportunity to experience that. Did you say vibration will align to the highest vibration? Yes, to the, the highest. So if, I'm, if I enter a room where everyone is down, yes. but I'm really happy, yes. am I going to bring them up or because they're more, am I going to go down? Excellent question. Excellent question. Right. If you, it depends how aware how conscious you are, meaning, if you come here and you get very happy, and all of us are like, you just complain us. If you're not happy, if you're not aware, we might well bring you down first. Although, if you are happy and you are conscious that you are not going down with them, different things are going to happen. You stay, and you are determined to stay here. Either you stay here and you feel, oh my gosh, look at that. But you are happy, so, but it, let's say we don't even speak. Now, some of us, that we do because you feel friction. Energetically, feel there's something not, just not quite right. So without me even knowing, I might, if I don't want to join you, I might just, if we have an excuse, or we will, I say, you know what, I have to go and do something. And I leave. And maybe all of us, or maybe some of us are gonna leave because just sharing the space is not just doesn't feel comfortable. Have you ever been with someone that you just don't feel comfortable with? And you can tell that emotionally you are just in different different places, even without sharing a word. Have you yes, that's what happened. Or someone might actually join you. Like, huh? Or you might do that with everybody. 